What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are in a stronghold because there has been a very special announcement and that is that Minecraft Live has been announced for October 15th. So Minecraft Live also means we're going to get a look at the next updates to Minecraft and so now it's time to start theorizing exactly what that update is going to be and can tell why I'm in a stronghold. This this is my guess. I think we're gonna be looking at an end update finally. I think at the October Minecraft Live, they're gonna be announcing an update for next summer of Minecraft. I don't think they're gonna stay on that six month track. I think they're gonna give themselves more time uh, to interact with the community on a huge update. And I think that update is going to be for the end dimension. Now, what exactly could they be doing in the end dimension? And I think I actually have a few theories for this. So let's go ahead and talk about those now. The end island, the main end island here that we spawn at, I don't think we're gonna see very many changes to. I think this is a classic Minecraft end island and I don't think we're gonna see any changes uh, to this area specifically. Uh, we may see some changes to exactly uh, what drops from the dragon, what we get as far as rewards, because while XP is nice, and of course we get the dragon egg, um, there still isn't a huge incentive for players to go to the end. And besides changing things out in the outer end islands, I think they may decide to change something with the dragon itself so that players have a bigger reason to come and fight the dragon. And you may be wondering, why would I need more incentive to go to the end? Well, actually a lot of people who play Minecraft never enter the end dimension. And there's a variety of reasons for that. Uh, one, it's kind of an in-game place. It's semi hard to get to if you don't play Minecraft all the time. And so a large majority of players don't actually end up making it to the end or even finding these cities. But what Mojang does want to change eventually, and wow, we've got a two city spawn here. That's pretty nice. What Mojang does want to change eventually is they want more players to go to the end, enjoy it, find these cities, find the elytras, everything there is to offer here. And so I think not only having a little more incentive for players to go to the end, but also changing these outer islands to make them a little less bland would make the end a wonderful place to go. What could Mojang do to actually change this? Well, we did just see very recently a huge change to the nether and that was with the 1.16 update, the nether update. I'm expecting something very similar like to that to the end dimension. And what I mean by that is we should be looking at something like the better end mod where we have loads of different biomes, lots of new blocks in the end and really just gives you a lot more incentive to want to go to the end to get those new blocks. And of course, loot is already huge in the end dimension. Once you're able to find one of these cities, you can find tons of enchanted diamond armor, elytras, shulkers, and more. So I don't think we need anything else as far as loot in the end dimension, except for maybe something else from the dragon specifically. But some biomes with some new blocks would just be incentive in itself for players to come to the end dimension, which is why I'm really expecting 1.20 to be the end update. And I think that is what's going to be announced on October 15th at the Minecraft Live convention. So we've talked a lot in this video about what could be added to the end to make it better. And obviously I'd love to see some changes to uh, the stronghold as well as the end dimension with an end update. But who knows what we're gonna be getting. But I think what is important is we could take a look at what we could be seeing in the end dimension. And the way to do that is using the better end mod. Now, obviously we do wanna keep this vanilla Minecraft and this does seem like a little much for vanilla Minecraft, but I think it is a great way to get some ideas of what we could be seeing in the end dimension. Even just the shift in the color of the atmosphere like they have in the nether now in vanilla Minecraft, is a feature that they have in this better end mod and I would love to see coming into vanilla Minecraft in the 1.20 update. Obviously things like the stars and everything up in the sky are probably something that's not going to be coming to the end dimension in real Minecraft and that is completely okay. It is supposed to be a void but I do think that we could still have some fun with the void, add some new blocks, biomes, things like that and even just some things to differentiate what you're seeing the entire time you're in the end. Now, I do love everything that I'm seeing here. I think it's great. You know, we've got different plants, new logs, new blocks, so much going on here. And I think that even just a tiny fraction of this added into vanilla Minecraft could be a lot of fun. Now, we could also go and check out the end cities as well. In the better Minecraft mod, they don't actually change the end cities all too much. Basically, it's 
pretty much just biome specific on how these end cities are changed. You'll notice this one is covered in vines and everything like that, and I think this makes this end city look incredible. Now, while we could have a lot of different things coming in an end update, we really have no idea what that could be. Now, in the 1.20 update, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of new vegetation like we're seeing here. Maybe some uh, variants of what we already have in Minecraft, but I think a lot of what we could be seeing could be something closer to this. Probably not these same bright colors, but some type of crystals or something in the end dimension that could still go into the void theme without adding a lot of new plants or new blocks, but crystals like this that kind of are similar to amethyst like we have in Minecraft now could definitely be added into the end dimension without changing things too much from vanilla Minecraft. Islands like this with the better end mod are really cool to see, although I don't think we're going to be seeing water when they do add uh, updates to the end dimension, but I do really like these in this mod and it would definitely be interesting since they have the new aquifers in the Minecraft 1.18 update that we could see something similar like that in the end dimension, uh, but I doubt we're going to be seeing water. I think something that would go really well with the new updates would be something like this we're not, that we're seeing here. Without all the vegetation, just an island like this with giant spires like we're seeing here would be incredible to see in the end dimension. And changes like this without adding all the vegetation that's on top of it would make this very close to vanilla Minecraft currently, but still adding a lot of variation that most players will end up enjoying in the end dimension. Formations like this I think are very possible as well, something very similar to geodes that we currently have in the overworld of Minecraft, but something that's specific to the end that would be floating in the void just like all the end islands. So these giant crystal shapes I think are very possible as well as these kind of floating pillars that we have as well, and that would really break up the current formation that we have in the end, which I gotta be honest are very bland, especially since we've had them in the game for so long now, it would be great if we had a small change so we just got some more variety. The end islands are basically all just copy and pasted. You might have some bigger ones, but especially these small islands look exactly the same, and it would be great if we had some formations like this, some floating geodes, maybe even some different Y levels of these islands, uh, such as that one up there. I think that could really make the end dimension something special without adding a ton of new mobs, new armor, anything like that. You can make it very simple by just adding new formations, things like that, and that would make new biomes all on its own without having to add all the new blocks. Although I do still think they are going to new, add new blocks, but I think we're going to see that mostly in the form of crystals and things like that. Something that makes more sense in the end dimension rather than all the vegetation that we're seeing in the better end mod. If we do see vegetation in the end dimension though, I think it's going to be closer to something like this rather than these bright colors that we're seeing here. I think this really fits the void that we have in vanilla Minecraft currently and just walking through this area besides uh, these types of blocks on the ground. I think this is very similar to what we currently have uh, that wouldn't be too far off of vanilla Minecraft. October 15th, we are going to be finding out what the next update to Minecraft is, and I am putting all my bets right now on the end update of Minecraft. I think we finally are going to be seeing an update to the end dimension, and the main reason I think this is we've had another update. We've had multiple overworld updates that were really supposed to be one update that got broken up over a long period of time there, and I really think they're gonna be looking at that third dimension for the next update to Minecraft, especially now that we have the ancient cities and also the new portal that's in those ancient cities. And if you don't believe that's a portal, that is ridiculous. There's no way they would add an unbreakable block to Minecraft that is not going to be a portal block. So I am very excited to see that, of course, but I think our next update is going to be taking a look at this end dimension right here. But anyways, guys, that is all the time that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or have any other theories, be sure to drop a like and also comment down below what your theories of the 1.20 update are. I'm very excited to read them and I'll reply to them as well and we can talk about what exactly is going to be in this next update. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.